and that's your that's your poinsettia right there. You're going to take this. This is a temperature probe like you have for meat. And what's nice about it is I stick the tip of it into the fire until the temperature gauge reads 200. Then I know it's hot enough to make my move. There. I'm at 200 degrees. Now I'm going to take this and put it right through the center of here. As you can see, it's melting its way through. Okay, now you got to get it out before it, it hardens. Now that's not quite big enough for a Christmas light bulb to fit through. So I'm going to have to grab a Christmas light bulb here and, and actually make the hole big enough for the light bulb to pass through. Now here's the Christmas bulb. I've taken it out of the string and I'm heating my probe back up to 200. I'm going to pick this up again and now I'm going to ream out this hole. I'm going to make it bigger. And once I get it bigger and it's still soft, I'm actually going to stick the bulb into it. There you see? It fits perfectly. That's why the temperature probe is nice but I want to make sure I get it out of there before it dries. This is actually what holds the ornament to the string of lights. Now if you don't want to put Christmas lights on this you can buy pearls or whatever and just string something through. But now you can see the shape and form. Now, cutting leaves is, is pretty easy but it's, it's a little different than you think. You've got these little wave marks on here. You're gonna cut, skip, and cut. So you're going to cut a shape like this and a shape like this on each layer. So I'll show you how it's done here. I'm just going to cut here. Then I'm going to get my blade underneath here. And with my scissors, which you should have very good scissors for this project, you're just going to cut scallops up every other one. And you can do it this way also. I'm going to skip one. So, so there it is, cut off all the way around. Now, to do the second run on it, you have to cut where one of your leaves leaves are going to be. Um, get this back so it's in the light. You have to cut in, and now wherever there's a lump on this side, you have to cut to this side. So uh, it's better, easier to show you than to talk about it. Now we're going to cut down like this in the diamonds. So we're making diamonds here. So each leaf is shaped like this. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to go right where there's a joint between two leaves because you always want them offset from the leaves and I'm going to put a spot of glue. There we go. That's a little much but it'll work. And this can go really quickly because it's going to melt the leaf as soon as you put it on there. Just hold it long enough to it sets. You can see it's, it's set into the glue there. And it's melted immediately, so you kind of press that in. Now I'm just going to go on to the skip one, go on, put a dot and stick another petal on there and go on to the next one and we're going to heat treat this afterwards so you don't have to worry about all those little strings that the glue gun gets everywhere and we're going to hit it with the glue gun, put a spot and take a narrow end I'm going every other, matching it up with every other petal. Some people don't like that kind of symmetry, but I've seen it in flowers, so. And I'm putting another dot. And. Another dot. And, it, and like I said, I, I'm not doing any special 
thing with the leaves where I'm making them and, and even when I colored it I didn't I didn't stay in the lines now I'm going to move down a row to the second ring for my next row I'm going to go down to the next ring and put my dot of glue might as well we got lots of leaves and lots of leaves is what makes it look real there we go and it shows that you gave a darn about what you were doing and we get the glue you can actually and that's where we're at folks now there's only one more thing to do and then we hit it with the heat and it's ready to go on the Christmas tree